All right, so it seems that we have a monster trade coming your way with Andrew Benatendi headed to the Kansas City Royals. And so according to Jeff Passan on Twitter, outfield prospect Khalil Lee is expected to go to the New York Mets in the three-way deal with Boston and Kansas City that would send Andrew Benatendi to the Royals. Outfielder Franchi Cordero would go to the Red Sox once the deal is finalized, sources tell ESPN. Others are involved. And then we have Joel Sherman who says, hashtag Mets are trading prospects as part of this three-team trade. One is Josh Winkowski to the hashtag Red Sox. The other player to be named later. And so we've been hearing talks this winter about Andrew Benatendi uh, being shopped by the Boston Red Sox, but nobody really knew what was gonna go on. We, it, it was all speculation. But it seems like a deal is sort of in the works to be finalized. Nothing is set in stone yet as of 10.18 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. But Franchi Cordero, Khalil Lee, these are two young guys with a lot of talent that Kansas City is shipping off for Andrew Benatendi. And starting off with Franchi Cordero, uh, one of the prospects that Kansas City is giving away for Andrew Benatendi. He has a big frame. He looks like he has that uh, sort of a power stroke that uh, we've been waiting to see and maybe he could break out and have a nice power season uh, and maybe uh, lessens the strikeout rate. Uh, I know a lot of people would like to see him finally put it all together and just be in an offensive powerhouse. And Khalil Lee, uh, I don't think he's gonna be as good with the bat, uh, but looks to be serviceable in the field uh, with a nice arm. So uh, Khalil Lee looks like a good piece. I, I think he also has some speed too, so that's something else to keep on the radar. But he was number eight on MLB's prospect rankings for 2020. So of course that has to say something about Khalil Lee and the significance that he plays uh, when it comes to him as a prospect. But talking about the meat and potatoes, we have Andrew Benatendi, who comes with a lot of postseason experience. Uh, I think he's gonna have a bounce back season. He's shown what he can do with the bat in the past, and I think 2020 was just a down season for a lot of players, and it was just weird. Uh, but I think he'll have a bounce back. I think the glove is there. Of course, a lot of people were debating on, uh, you know, why he looked like he might have been a little bit lazy in the 2020 season but you know not everyone felt great uh some guys fell off and some guys weren't exactly in their training regimen uh like they should have been possibly i mean i wouldn't know because i'm not like there but <laughs> but it's saying something that ben Attendee has a ring and he was one of the starting outfielders for the club that year and so it seems like Kansas City is really putting something together. Carlos Santana, Andrew Benatendi, you name it. I mean, they have a ton of young guys coming up and they're bringing in some pieces. So they're really trying to get that team together. And I think Detroit and Kansas City are kind of having this dogfight uh, over, you know, like who's going to take the, uh, the fourth spot in the division, you know, because nobody wants to be at the bottom. And now on to Josh Winkowski, which the Mets are trading for Franchi Cordero. He was number 26 on the Mets 2020 prospect rankings. Uh, he looks like he might have a good fastball and a slider. I, I was trying to look at some things on uh, MLB.com about him. And uh, I mean, number 26 isn't exactly in the top 10, uh, but you know, there's still some promise there. I know the Mets farm system is pretty thin right now, especially with trying to get a really good roster together uh, for the Major League Ball Club. Uh, but I mean, <laughs> I do the Royals really care at this point they're getting a, a young guy in Ben Attendi. so I mean they're gonna have Ben Attendi for a while I think uh, if they want to they can extend him uh, so I think that would be a good thing especially with all the talent that he has and honestly like I said bounce back season is coming so you wait and see all you Andrew Ben Attendi haters because I love seeing myself some Andrew Ben Attendi and I can't wait uh, but I really feel for Boston because Ben Attendi was pretty much uh, one of the last main outfielders uh, that was on the Red Sox from the World Series team, I might add, except for, of course, uh, J.D. Martinez. But nevertheless, they have Alex Verdugo to keep them company, uh, and hopefully he can get them to some wins. And the Red Sox also have some young players that they're bringing up, like Bobby Delbeck, who looks like an absolute stud. And who can even forget about Tanner Huck? He looks good too. So uh, I think all the teams are making out pretty well in this trade. And honestly, I mean, it's good for baseball. You know, we're seeing business pick up, which is awesome. But thank you for watching this video. If you like this type of content, then please make sure to leave a like and subscribe and hit that notifications bell to get alerts 
with the latest videos on this channel. And I will leave the link to my Instagram in the description below, so if you want to check it out, then go ahead. I'll basically be posting different baseball stuff as well as stuff on the channel. But as always, thank you all for watching. This has been Major League Talk, and I will see you in the next video.